this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. -Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do a bit of a channel update um, for you guys. Um, basically starting out um, by saying there's not going to be a mass making this week I'm afraid. Um, yeah that I will come on to the reason for that in a moment. Um, I've been meaning to do a channel update for well a really long time um, but it was just finding the time to you know that seemed like a good time to talk about things and that time hasn't really come to be honest so I was just kind of waiting and waiting and it seems like it's all just come to a head um you know this week really so or today um so as you know or maybe don't know um I got a divorce actually like two and a half years ago my husband moved out and the divorce went through a year and a half ago um However, we didn't sort out our finances um, at the time of the divorce, and you know, everything does warn you not to do that. Um, but you know, I think like all these things, you know, you think you've been married to someone for 22 years, so you kind of think it will be okay. Um, well, things are far from okay, and um, things are, yeah, getting progressively worse, and um, basically the reason why there is not going to be a mass making video tomorrow um, is because and there's lots and lots of different kind of parts to this um, so I won't go into every single thing but basically um, what has happened is you know my husband moved out obviously you know I'm still at home in the family home with the children and um, he's not paid anything towards the mortgage for actually nearly two years now um and obviously I have been struggling to try and pay for everything um and now of course you know our sales have or sales our savings savings have dwindled and you know more or less run out now um and so the last two months well no f the mortgage rates have been going up and we were on a fixed rate so I was just about keeping my head afloat or above water. And then we came off of our fixed rate in January. And my husband, of course, would not agree to go on to a new fixed rate, even though he wasn't actually paying for anything. And of course, I don't qualify, you know, with my earnings to take out such a big mortgage. So even though I phoned the bank and said, well, I've been the only person paying the mortgage and, you know, I need you to get on board and help me try and, you know, secure a fixed rate. They obviously couldn't do that. They needed two authorised people, um, which of course he was the other person and he wouldn't agree to that. So our mortgage payment has now gone up by um, £600 a month. So it's no longer now affordable for me to do that. And um, so I've now, you know, for the first time ever in my life, not been able to make our mortgage payments for the last two months. Um... <clears throat> so tomorrow basically when would be the mass making my husband is now unbelievably taking me to court to try and take out an emergency injunction because I am trying to sell a different asset to try and clear a little portion of the mortgage so that I can afford to you know breathe while we are still going through the court process we went to our first court hearing in August last year our next court hearing is not until August this year and our third court hearing probably won't be until about March. So of course, you know, that's a lot of months away of me trying to sustain, you know, financial viability in any way, shape or form. Um, <clears throat> so basically he has now applied for an emergency injunction and is now taking me to court, which is now tomorrow and as if that wasn't bad enough um what's doubly upsetting and again if you follow my channel you'll know that um my dear friend gary one of my you know best friends uh passed away um sort of three weeks ago and it's his funeral tomorrow and his funeral's two o'clock and the court hearing is two o'clock um somewhere completely different a town kind of 25 miles away so obviously I asked my solicitor if we could 
change the court date. Um, but no, that is not a possibility. Um, so I'm stuck with that date. Um, <clears throat> so obviously I am going to miss Gary's funeral. Now, Gary was the main person really who's been getting me through the last kind of couple of years and every time I had any trauma or you know was struggling he was the person who you know kind of like bolstered me up and you know would listen to me and I just feel really terrible that I'm not going to now be able to be there to you know to thank him and to say goodbye to him. Um, I have written his mum a letter apologising for not being there and saying just how much he did mean to me. Um, but today I'm feeling very tearful. I have spent the whole weekend, um, you know, trying to work and trying to get some things in my shop because obviously, you know, I'm under a lot of financial strain um, and I realised that you know, my um, kind of time spent on videos and things like that maybe has not been as much as it has been in the past. But obviously, you know, this whole legal process is beginning to really take its toll on me now. Um, and obviously, subsequently on my business. And um, yeah, so... I spent the whole weekend working, I mean, literally till nine o'clock at night, um, you know, both Saturday and Sunday. And then um, today I have just spent the whole day so far doing things for my solicitor and my statement for going to court tomorrow and things. And then, you know, writing Gary's mum a letter, um, you know, for tomorrow. Um <clears throat> So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of different aspects going on at the moment in my life. And, um, yeah, it's just all culminated this week. And, uh, yeah, just kind of struggling a little bit. So, you know, I absolutely love crafting. I love crafting. And, of course, you know, I love hanging out with you guys. It's my favourite thing to do. But at the moment, I just, I'm not really very you know, in a very good place at the moment today, hopefully just a blip and, um, you know, hopefully get tomorrow out of the way and then be able to focus for a few more weeks or months until the next um, court hearing in August, um, providing that I win the injunction tomorrow because otherwise there may potentially be another two court hearings and then my husband may try and claim costs, which of course I don't have at all and we'll all be coming off you know the um kind of settlement at the end and you know i mean of course he earns you know a lot more money than i do and things and you know he's not housing three children and you know my solicitor kind of his biggest advice was don't go down the pub listening to what all your friends say when everyone says oh you you're going to be able to stay in the house or oh you're going to be able to do this because you know I would have said all those things myself to somebody and actually it just seems that every case is different and um, depending on the length that somebody is willing to go to to try and you know destroy you or tear you down that will be how your case will go. Um, you know it's very sad I mean obviously we have been married for 22 years and you know I would have loved nothing more than to be that couple who kind of could spend Christmas together and the kids' birthdays together and all of that stuff, still being friends, you know. And to be honest, there was no reason why we shouldn't have done that. Our marriage ended with dignity. Nobody did anything disrespectful to the other person. You know, it had just run its course. But, you know, unfortunately, sometimes things just don't work out as you would like. And that's kind of how it's gone at the moment. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I've got lots of apologies, really. Apology for tomorrow, no mass making. Apology that, you know, I'm not on the top of my game when it comes to, obviously, emails. Just, yeah, just um, not really on it with that. Um, you know, and I can't wait for everything to be finished and done and actually, you know, maybe not have to be trying to, you know, trying to, yeah, kind of bring in, a, you know, a double 
person wage on a you know a single person time scale um you know and obviously as well within school hours and you know school holidays and things like that and you know until we obviously sort everything out and you know can move house that's not going to happen um you know and of course as my solicitors pointed out you know i i can't even sell my house you know without my husband's permission which of course despite the fact he's not paying anything towards the bills or the mortgage he of course will not give permission for that um so it just seems literally ludicrous and you know i am i am scared for tomorrow i'm scared to go to court i never really thought that this would be my you know what would happen in my life and um i'm obviously devastated that i'm missing gary's funeral and yeah just scared really for my future scared for you know feel sick that i've now missed my mortgage payments for the last two months um and you know disappointed that of course you know i can't be now focusing on my business and things as i would love to be doing and you know for the first time in my life i was doing a job that i really really loved and now it's um kind of suffering as a result really so yeah i want to just say a massive thank you to everybody who has supported me thus far um i mean yeah it is what it is and obviously because i can't really discuss a lot of things you know i'm not sure what i am allowed to say and what i'm not allowed to say and things like that you know i don't want to get myself into more trouble by saying things that i shouldn't be saying um you know and then <laughs> be pulled up you know by his legal team on that so you know um <laughs> just got my doggy <laughs> um so yeah it's kind of difficult because um you know i'm I'm trying to kind of like fill you in but you know feel a bit um like i i don't know how much i'm allowed to say or you know do you want to divulge all of your business everywhere across the internet i don't know um so that's why i have put off doing this kind of uh you know video for the last few months because you know of course there wasn't really a lot of good news to report on so yeah i'm hoping it's just a blip super tearful today super tearful yesterday um super scared for tomorrow and like i say super upset that i'm going to be missing gary's funeral and um yeah so that's why there's no mass making this week hopefully full normal service will be resumed by next week and you know we will do a mass making project next week um yeah so that's kind of it really with regards to comments on this video i will probably just do a blanket no reply to any comments you know because i you know maybe maybe i will not get very nice comments in which case i don't necessarily want to be getting involved in replying to those or maybe i will get amazingly lovely comments but you know of course it's probably um yeah not going to be feasible to reply to those either um so it's just going to be a blanket no comment i'm afraid to this video um but i know that you're all like super lovely and super supportive ladies out there and i know that loads of you have been through similar things to this and i'm sure you understand completely what's you know what it feels like and it's not a very nice place to be so yeah suffering a lot of anxiety today and um yeah just not a good place really today um yeah so that's kind of about the the size of it so yeah i do apologize and um you know i apologize for this video i probably way too much information you know as as kind of kids say in text now tmi you know too much information mum probably shouldn't have shared half of what i've shared but you know i um yeah i i just wanted to come along and share with you guys why you know i haven't been on the top form of late really so um but you know also to say a massive thank you to everybody who has been amazing and you know i really really appreciate everybody's support so yeah thank you so much um you know <laughs> you guys are literally 
the only thing that keeps me going some days. So thank you so much. I mean, I guess it's just quite funny, isn't it? The, um, the feelings that it brings up when you go through these types of um, situations, you know, always financial, you know, strength and independence and things, um, you know, not being reckless with money and things. That was always, you know, a source of kind of incredible shame in my family. And, um, you know, was brought up to be, you know, not silly with money and, you know, not kind of accrue debts and, you know, things like that. And so to now be in a situation where I can't even actually afford to pay my mortgage and kind of at the brink of financial kind of ruin at the hands of somebody else's, um, you know, kind of like vengeance really, it's, yeah, it feels very shameful. And so to say these words out loud, I feel, yeah, I feel embarrassed and I feel, you know, a bit ashamed and um, yeah, and kind of like, oh, you know, why am I telling everybody this? Because this is very shameful. But I'm hoping that once I've said it all out loud and, you know, that actually sometimes, you know, as I always say to the children, a problem shared is a problem halved. And sometimes just by saying the situations, it can make you feel better. And, you know, talking about things out loud can make you feel, feel better. Maybe I'm not feeling better so far, but hey, maybe it will work tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, obviously, like I say, I kind of have shared too much, um, yeah, I just, I, not, not, um, not in a good place today, really. So, yeah, I don't even know whether I will upload this video, to be honest. I shall edit it and, um, stick all the bits together where I've had to keep on stopping. And then I'll kind of see, and then, uh, yeah, possibly, you know, put it up or not put it up. Um... <laughs> this is my other my other little bit of joy um alongside my channel is my gorgeous beau who just oh she just keeps me going all the time so yeah so yeah that's where I am at um today so yep that's it and yep I'm sorry it's been a long time coming I know I've been saying for you know absolutely ages that I was going to give you guys you know an update on my life and things and yeah I apologize it's taken so long apologize for the you know too much information aspect of this video and um, yeah thank you so much for everyone who has supported me and my channel so far um, you know and please you know I, I totally realize there's people with far worse problems going on um, you know, I'm, yeah, I, I am aware of that. So, you know, please don't think that I'm here trying to say, oh my, you know, my life is so awful. There's nobody with worse things. I, I realise that there are. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, for me today, I feel like my life is pretty rubbish. Um, but that's because I'm obviously scared about tomorrow and, um, yeah, upset for obviously missing, missing Gary's funeral and, um, yeah, just scared for, I guess, what's coming down the road for, you know, for me and the children. But anyway, so I just wanted to, to share that. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I do apologize about this week's mass making. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. So thanks very much then. Bye.